my channel. I'm the Hopeful Guy Sam, and welcome back to The Last Door, Season 2, Episode 2, Part 3. Whoa. In the last part, we did a bunch of, uh, we came to this village, solved a puzzle, uh, went through a cutscene, found piano music, came to a village, spoke to a lovely fisherman. I got to use my drunk voice, got a telescope and a bell, and a lantern. Yeah, I walked through the dark basement and just went. He just. Wakefield just fell on his ass. It was great. Um, yeah. I mean, just watch part two. But now we're on this line of questioning with this creepy lady at the window. Um, and she's going to tell me what she thinks about everybody else. And then we're going to continue on our merry way. So, what can you tell me about the barmaid? What can you tell me about the barmaid? Ava is a woman with a strong character. Uh, once I saw her kick out a group of drunk sailors from the pub without a doubt. She is in a bad mood lately because business is not what it used to be. She will not leave the village, though, as did others. What can you tell me about Captain Morville? Poor Fred is always drunk. In the old times, when he was not sailing, he had long walks on the beach and looked happy. But now... Rare is the occasion when he gives a quick glance at the coast. You've lost all hope. What did you tell me about Father Oscar? He is a man who lost his purpose. I see him walking aimlessly in, in morning and evening, nervous and doubtful. I should go. Thank you for everything you have. You have a good day. Got to find a gravestone for a carter. Nice. Somber. Rose Carter. Bury my body with the salted driftwood, with the green seaweed and the worn out ropes where I can feel the cold autumn breeze. Gerald Bealy. Oh. Mary Jane Bennett. What are that name for? Farewell to those of you who walk beside my grave. Here I lie. My name written on stone under the sun. Do not bring flowers to this place, for rum is all I crave. Now I rest under the same stars I sailed when alive. There is no name, date, or epitaph on this gravestone. No more graves? Okay, no. Those of the church, it seems the priest is calling mass. Well then, I gotta ruin the priest's day now, don't I? Eh, ruin it, just have a conversation. I have left the flowers on your lover's grave, as you asked. Thank you, I'm so much in your debt. No problem, it's the least I can do. Trust me, if you... It's just, it feels nice to be a nice person. Oh. Excuse me, Father, for I have sinned. A very egregious sin. I decided to stop doing YouTube. Yeah, I can see that. A confessional. So Wickport serves as a ca uh, Catholic congregation. So, you look like me, just wearing all black. <laughs> Good morning, my son. Uh, I completely blanked on that at first part, but... Does no one come to the church? What's the matter, father? What's the matter, Padre? What happened to your parishioners? I don't know why I did that. <sighs> the village has seen bleak times, man. My son, or my thing. Many have left, and the rest have lost their faith. Every day I ring the bells, but no one answers. May God have mercy on their souls. Why do you suppose that is? 
I can't tell you. The mist that shrouds this coast and the shapes that swirl within have long been a source of hearsay, but lately the stories people tell are not of pirates and smugglers, but something more sinister. Some say the devil himself has come to our shore. It is a rumor I dare not disregard. Are you personally acquainted with, acquainted with Professor Wright? Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, of course. Um, Adam, Adam was, rather, it is not merely a parishioner, but one of my closest friends. Since our youth, we enjoyed many scholarly, but sometimes quite fervent discussions. He being an anthropologist and myself a theologian, that is, until he fell ill, of course. Um, but since he is like that, I have not visited him. I must go. Wait, um, please, I need to ask a favor, a small favor. Uh, please give this to Adam. I don't know if it will mean anything to him now, but it will bring peace to my soul if there is some token of our friendship resting it by his side. Alright. Uh, first I'm going back to Wickport Inn. Okay, the main door is closed from the inside. Uh, again. I mean, to be fair, if this is really short, I might just tag it on to the next video. Still a major puzzle, though. Where's the back door open? This door wasn't open before. Simple wooden wardrobe. There's nothing of interest here. There's a closed chest here. There's a key inside. I just ran, walked into a random room and just stole the key. Cage covered with an embroidered cloth with the end of a phrase written on it. A visitor will call... Key's not for that, huh? That's the bathroom. This is the professor's room. Lock the key. Key. Oh! Okay, well, um, that's obvious. Professor Wright is not here. He failed. There's an open book on the floor. The Book of Birds. Okay. It's a compilation of legends related to birds. Some of the text has been marked. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached the, a crossroads. The wretched crow tried to lead them astray and into the path of mists. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond that veil. Only the wisdom of the crested hopo Ball and the prudence of the red feathered robin could lead the remaining 28 back onto the path of righteousness. Ever since the birds have sung their praise, for without the hopo and robin, the robin, silence would have fallen forever. Oh, he's naked! Okay. Uh, man, I gotta go down to the aviary in silence and figure out what bird's which. Eurythicus rubelia. Cover you. And then the other one is the... The... Hopo and the red feathered robin. Crested. All the birds have suddenly stopped their chittering. Boo! 
Sounds if there's someone at the door. Cool. A little bit of research does some. The door is already open. Nice. Maybe the professor returned. Or not. Oh, he's dead. Oh, God. He's dead. A cheerful. <laughs> I immediately look at the scenery. A cheerful scene that would have lifted my heart on any other day. It stands in stark contrast to the treasure that befalls this house. There's a thin layer of dust on the coat rack, but not on the coat. Oh my gosh. What's over here? These books look... <laughs> books on classical theater. Just ignore the dead body. An old wardrobe. The window is open. A cold wind blows into the room. All right, dead body, what you got? The poor man. Looks like his heart has gave out on him. His eyes, my God. They're fixed with an expression of utmost terror. Let me see. His fists are clenched. He's holding on to something. Give me that. Some kind of stone figurine. He's holding it tightly as if he was protecting it from someone. The figurine... The figurine is beautifully carved, but appears to be but one half of a larger artifact. What has happened to him? I have seen death before, but never has a body left me so ill at ease. I'm, I'm trembling. Yeah. It's fucking dead. <laughs> this is serious. I must break the news to Kaufman. And of course, the local authorities will have to be informed. Kaufman! What's the matter? Kaufman! Don't worry. I have given him a mile. Don't worry. I have given him a mile sedative. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Armitage. The innkeeper called me because he was worried about your friend. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dr. Wakefield. What? What are you? What are Dr. Kaufman's symptoms? Strong coughing, general feebleness, easiness. He's an old bastard. It is too soon yet for a diagnosis. It could be a simple cold, but the sudden onset and severity of his symptoms is certainly a concern. He must be monitored for the next few hours at least. But do not worry, Dr. Wakefield. I will remember and take care of your friend. What is up with that? something serious doctor this is far from my specialty but do you think this could be something more serious i do not know it is so soon to know let us wait and see how his condition develops what is up with it what is up with it um to why go i should probably tell him that his friend's dead There's more grave. Oh. I didn't know about this. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Dr. Wakefield. You come from the town, don't you? You need an answer. I know by your accent. Be careful around these cliffs. There's no, this is no place for tourists. It's hardly a place for anyone now. <laughs> Be best to be, you best be on your way back. Strange things have been happening here. What do you mean? Seamen <laughs> and fishermen alike swear to have heard voices in the rising tide. Inhuman screams, some of them say. And there are some who claim to have witnessed ungodly things at the dead of the night. I once saw a ghastly thing crawling out there amongst the rocks. A scream, you say? Bloody drunks. They say that the sea howls at them as if there was something new. What do you see in these rocks? That thing, the one you saw on the rocks. Can you tell me more about it? Late night, it was me and my, on my boat fishing. That's when I gets the best catch. Then I saw it, not under the water, 
as the others say, he was on the rock, perched there. I was smelling for something. And the shape of it, like nothing I've ever saw before. Nothing, not walking on the earth, nor swimming in the sea. The thing was big and hunched over like a crouching man. The way it moved, it made my flesh crawl. Whatever it was, the mist itself was was its ally, hiding it from my bare eyes, and then the end disappearing away altogether. I swear I should see it the horror again. I'll take a most vicious harpoon and thrust it so deep in its wretched body that they will have nowhere to bury them together. So what are you doing up here? I came here, I come here when I can, to watch the shore, just in case that thing comes back. The mist down there is too thick. I can see better from up here, even if my eyes are not what they used to be. Damn it, if I could somehow regain my once sharp eyesight, by God, I would impale that abomination for sure. Uh, want telescope? Sweet. Here, would this help you? You already gave it to him, man. Why, it's old to be sure, but this telescope has been patched up to a rare beauty. You may have my thanks, stranger. I am indebted. Hmm? Oh, what is that? On the cliff there, well below... Well, blow me. Uh, dude. Um. No. Sorry, you can't. Um. Not right now. <laughs> if it isn't the Wright's old summer house. The Wright's old summer house. I thought entirely destroyed, but it looks like you can get to there using the old cliff path. Excuse me, did you say the Wright's summer house? Oh. Okay. Well, yes! I never saw it myself. I was too young at the time, but everyone around here knows the story well. It was a terrible tragedy, you see. One night, there was a landslide just beneath the house. Most of the building fell sheer into the sea, leaving only yonder ruins. Many died, though by a miracle, young Master Wright was spared. You can see it from here. Look, right there on the other side of the beach. Do you see it? Sweet. I'm glad I did three episodes. Cliff. Just this cliff. This wind slapped old gnarly tree is clinging onto the cliff with what roots remain. Someday it will fall into the ocean below. No. Let's go to the cliff. These rocks look like the remains of a landslide, which is a part of the his thing. An empty wardrobe. Its wood is rotted from uh, long exposure to the sea air. This landscape shows the house as it was before the landslide ruined it. Huh. Hello. There's a peculiar indentation in the stone. does anything. I just wish it wasn't a long ass freaking walk though back up here. Are you facing a different direction? their masks are open. 
Oh, it dropped it. Like, oh, motherfucker dropped it. Oh, it's shattered. Got it. Clay vessels held, held by the statue is now broken into many pieces. There's an object among them. It must have been from the inside. Looks like a compass. It must be broken since it does not point north. No, but it points to something. Is that the unmarked grave? Awesome. I'm just gonna open up the grave. Cool, smart man. <sighs> Here are other half of a boat. Bust. Bust. Yeah, that piece of form and trickily carved figurine or idol is an ancient without a doubt. Cool. That's actually really clever. I love it when games have a compass that points you into a direction. And now, to the cliff house. I believe we're probably at nearing the end of this little escapade. Adventure. What's this? should fit right in here. It has triggered some secret mechanism. There's a passage behind the fireplace. It seems to lead into the cliff. Am I prepared for this Elseworld BS? This must be the other entrance to the underground tunnel. Let's go on. There's a note on the floor. Whatever you find down here, do not stop. Should I go check to see if... Fuck it. The music's kicking up, so clearly I have to go this way. Kind of anticipating it. Some viscous substance. It could be some kind of fungus, or maybe a de decomposed remains of an animal. This way. Why not? There's a wide pit in the middle of the chamber. It descends deep into the dark. I think you hear the sound of the sea far below. That's to like dump shit in there. So I do go north. Crazy. Yep, there's a banner. These are human remains. The flesh is gone, but the bones look undisturbed. How long have they lain here? How on earth did the Professor Light uh, write enough of the authorities? Must press on. What possible research could have? I don't think you want to know. What else is down here? The dead end. Okay. Well. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hang from the ceiling. That's the phone. The grand piano placed in the middle. How do you get someone to tune that thing? Who do you call to tune it? I swear I didn't want to go any further. Oh, oh, 
I got the spookums. That's got me right spooked. Hey, there's the first marking. The drawing presents a human figure stepping through some sort of archway or door. Is that a record that I just heard go, Meh. record scratch? I went the wrong direction. I was saying Spookums there if you passed me. Because I'm bored, future me. Shush. You're the one editing this. You don't have to have me say it. Although I think you would just to make me look stupid. Which, to be fair, isn't that hard to do. So you think I should have done this in windowed mode, future me? I think so too, but I wouldn't have been able to. Another gramophone? Where's this lead? You can't both lead to the same area. Oh no. Oh, inspect the hole. No. Small passage just goes under the brick wall. It is too thin to pass through. the other hole. That's a butthole. Oh. Goes deep into the wall of the caves. What is this place? strange machine. It does not seem to be working anymore. Oof. There's a note. There's a note on the floor. Who was gone will be back, not the same, but somehow changed, because that which lurks behind the door waits, and no one that has crossed through can hope to escape its blessing. I must tell Kaufman about all of this. If you live to see it, tell, see it, yeah. These clothes are torn down on unrecognizable shreds. There's a tag in here with two initials, H-A. There's a large archway carved in the stone wall of the cave. Uh... No, no. Someone's gonna kill me on the way out. Oh god! Yeah, what the hell was that? Oh, I have to go look at it. Okay. Um... I don't, um, part of the wall stones have seemed to be sludged from it, leaving behind a large dark hole. No. Ah! <laughs> oh god. That was, oof. 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 My dearest visitor, that was the name of the episode. Oh, God. What was that? I fucking act like I'm Star Wars. 
Uh, well, that was the payoff after three parts, but, um, geez, I'm wondering what's going to happen next. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and got a little bit of a spook out of it. I know going through two other episodes is probably not worth the payoff, but I'm sorry. I just, I need more videos and I need more content and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, well, I hope you make it this far. And as always, I will see you in the next, uh, hope to see you in the next video or talk to you or whatever. Have a wonderful day.